Basilisk lizards may be more well known as Jesus Christ lizards because of their uncanny ability to run across the surfaces of rivers and streams. Or because seeing this occur may cause the observer to shout JESUS CHRIST in surprise. All four basilisk lizard species are able to perform this holy act, though the physics behind it holds water. Basilisk lizards have flaps of rolled up scales on their toes that unfurl when they hit the waves. As they run, their huge feet slam against the water's surface and create a pocket of air on which the lizard can stay atop and out of the water. While running on water, they can cover an average of 15 feet before gravity takes over and they begin to sink, though juveniles are known to run further thanks to their lighter weight. That sinking feeling doesn't stop these lizards though, as they're excellent swimmers. Plus, they're able to run on water almost as fast as they are able to run on land. On land, they can run on four legs, or upright on two like the frilled neck lizards we've previously discussed. Basilisk lizards run a lot because they're skittish. Considering their predators include birds of prey and snakes, it makes sense that they're hypervigilant. They have to watch out when they hit the water, too, because they can also be taken by crocodiles. Most basilisk lizards spend their time hanging out on the banks of bodies of water, usually in trees and shrubs. Though the oddballs, the striped basilisks, may stray further away from water and spend more time on the ground than their conspecifics. Every family has a striped basilisk, am I right? Though they can reach lengths of more than two feet, a large portion of this is attributed to their whip-like tails. Heck, whip-like isn't even accurate. They legit use their tails as whips to fend off predators if walking on water doesn't surprise them enough. JESUS CHRIST! Female basilisk lizards are typically smaller than males, and, while they might sport a small hood, the girls tend to lack the distinct crests and sails found adorning the males' bodies. These crests and sails are used to impress the local ladies. Competition for females is fierce in the basilisk lizard world, and although males are typically ready to begin breeding by the age of two, it often takes a few more years before they're able to acquire and defend their own territory. Like the chuckwallas we've talked about previously, a male basilisk lizard will breed with the females in his territory throughout the year, and the females will lay a few clutches of about ten eggs that incubate in burrows for two to three months. The babies are on their own from birth, but when you can walk on water, do you really need a parent to guide you? Jesus! It also helps that basilisk lizards eat basically anything they can catch. Insects are an obvious food of choice, but they'll also take crabs, shrimp, fish, bats, birds, other lizards, fruit, flowers, the list goes on. Basilisk lizards can be found in central and northern South America, though they've been introduced to Florida. On average, basilisk lizards live about five years in the wild. For more facts on basilisk lizards, check out the links in the description. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.